Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we are going to see how to mount the cast in a mean value articulator. Now, in the mean value articulator, a plane is formed by the central pin anteriorly and the reference rod posteriorly, as you can see here. So, while mounting, we have to make sure that the plane of the occlusal rim should coincide with the plane formed here, plane formed by the articulator. Okay? So, how do we do that? Let us see. Hi, this is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. So first of all, we will place here bottling wax or better place clay here because that is easily moldable. And then place your sealed cast here. Then we are going to align the plane of the occlusal rim with that of the triangular plane of the articulator. And we do this by thread relation. So as you can see here, we have a thread going from the central pin posteriorly till the reference rod. Okay, and on the opposite side also, we have the same thing from the central pin to the posterior rod. So basically, we are creating that triangle with the help of a thread. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to see the rims from all the sides. You have to see it from the left side, right side, anteriorly and posteriorly. And we have to adjust the rims. Starting anteriorly, we have to make sure that the central pin isn't line with the midline of the rims okay in between the two rims as well as midline of the rim okay then checking from the left side what you have to do you have to keep your eye at the level of the thread and see if the plane of the rim is in line with the thread and we have to adjust the modeling clay or the modeling wax accordingly okay from the posterior side we have to make sure that the casts are parallel to the reference rod okay as you can see here from the superior view also we have to check if the cast is parallel to the upper member checking this is very important or sometimes we tend to rotate the cast on one side so this will create problem in teeth setting so make sure you check from the superior surface also similarly check from the right side and see the thread relation keep your eye at the level of the thread Make sure that the thread on the left hand side and the right hand side should coincide as well as they should coincide with the plane of the occlusal rim also. Lastly, once again, check the central pin. Now it's time to mount the cast. Open the upper member and mix the plaster and put on the top of the upper cast. Make sure to put enough plaster so that when you close the upper member, the material should flow within the mounting rings so that will create retention i completely forgot to bring a tripod that day or i could have shown you the entire procedure so i'll have to skip because i was the only person recording this sorry for that but i hope you got the point one little tip keep a bowl of water and dip a cotton and smoothen and give shape to the plaster according to the cast with the help of that cotton this will give neatness to your work and you will require just minimal sandpapering afterwards. Then keep the articulator upside down, remove the modeling clay and repeat the process. Make sure you apply Vaseline to the notches of the cast for easy separation during processing. So this is the final result. We still require little sandpapering to smoothen the plaster. Now we will again check the thread relation. This time I'm using a rubber band and check from all the sides. Also check the central pin, seems like we are done. So I hope you found the video helpful. If yes, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also you can visit our website to learn more. See you next time.